Hello, hello, hello. Hola a todos, bienvenidos. Welcome to another video. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Uh, today we are going to talk about something that is going to be a little, I think it's going to be a, a little bit controversial, but it's going to be interesting. Um, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time we upload a new video or we live stream. And also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. I want to give a big shout out to Kay Beck. She is a Cafecito member. Thank you, Kay Beck, for the support. Thank you for the coffee. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. <laughs> If you're interested in getting a membership, you can click on the join button down below and you can uh, check out the perks and while well, you will be supporting this channel, it's a big help, big help for sure. Okay, also give this video a like, that helps me a lot. And well, here with me is the mysterious voice. How are you, mysterious voice? I'm good. You good? Yeah. Are you sleepy? No. Nah. <laughs> and well, do you know what we're gonna talk about today? Do you have any idea? I'm I think say I mentioned that to you. Latinas, because it's on the title for the. Yes. Yes. Exactly. We are going to talk about some myths about Latinas, and. Um, I mean, it's going to be, I'm going to try to explain as much as I can uh, the myths and what I think Latinas, you know, like all the misconceptions in what Latinas actually, um, they, the, the way they actually behave. Uh, I don't want to generalize because everyone's different, you know, everybody is different. But there are a few um, myths about Latinas that I would like to go over with you. Mm -hmm. And okay. I just want to say we're doing good, Lena Kirkland. How are you? Oh, yeah, I see. Just let me check the chat. I, I'm, I'm not sure why I, I'm not seeing the... Um, oops. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing the chat. Oh, okay, okay. okay. On the other screen. No, I, I just I needed to have the oh, the chat on the live stream. Oh, okay. So I just wanted to check what was wrong with that. But yeah, I can see it now. Lena, you were saying Lena, right? Lena Kirkland. Hi, hola. How are you doing today? Estamos bien. We're good. <laughs> I hope you're doing well too. Oh, Lena saying I'm okay. So yeah. Welcome, Lena. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the myths, okay? So the first myth that I would like to talk about and that I've heard in the past is about Latinas and how they dance super well or in a sexy way, you know, or that uh, they dance always something latin music like i don't know salsa mm, or something like that lambada lambada <laughs> lambada or something <laughs> oh, like man. that well now, now we're d dating ourselves like i <laughs> <laughs> so i remember when that was new what lambada yeah when that was like and it was like a new yeah it was like on mtv they played like a music video it was like back in the late 80s i think <laughs> well i don't remember when lambada was around i, I remember it yeah. but let me tell you i am a latina my i i'm a mex i'm a mexican you know i'm a proud mexican and <laughs> let me tell you that not all latinas know how to dance period you know, it's not even dancing sexy or liking the same music. A lot of Latinas do not do not know 
how to dance and I'm one of them <laughs> I'm one of them I don't know how to dance salsa I don't I don't know how to dance with the other rhythms La any Latin rhythms I don't know. because you know people from Argentina they like different music and I don't want to generalize all people in Argentina or, or all Latinas in Argentina but you can tell that uh, you know people from Argentina like different music just as Colombians as well and Mexicans as well everybody's different so not everyone knows how to dance do you know how to dance not well <laughs> <laughs> I can fake it you can fake it I, th I think where that stereotype comes from mm -hmm. is that because like where I used to live before moving mm -hmm. to, to go to college there was a big Latin community there you okay. know and the one thing I've noticed from the people that I knew from that community mm -hmm. like you guys are super into your culture you know I think you know what it's I think like every gathering has to mm -hmm. have the authentic food the music the, the so music. I think that's where that comes from is that you, it pe people just think that that's all it's always about you know 24 7 it's just you know the same food the, the, the same, same music, food the same the music same the same yeah because that's all that uh, those of I us see. on the outside that's I all see. that we see when we interact with you know yeah I mean I see why it makes sense but I mean I think that what happens is uh, Latinas in different countries that are not from Latin America usually they miss their country you know if you miss your country you're gonna try to to have a com community a Latin yeah. community in a different country and then just do what they miss the most yeah you know, and that's, I think. yeah it's then that's more than likely what it is because mm -hmm. even like i said where i used to live there's also a big portuguese community big lebanese community it was the same mm -hmm. thing like they had their club their gatherings there and it was all all about it you know whereas like for me for an example like mm -hmm. yeah i'm from a different country too but i'm a pasty white mm -hmm. guy so i mean it doesn't really matter <laughs> you know i just i kind of mm -hmm. fit in anywhere which so that's yeah. uh, that's exactly I think what it is yeah but about dancing like not everyone in Latin America knows mm -hmm. how to dance as I said before uh, there are so many that know how to dance for sure and really well and they know Latin rhythms and they dance to that really well but in I know that not everyone not all latinas mm -hmm. specifically latinas not all of them know how to dance and honestly dancing well is so like what would you call somebody like what's the definition of dancing well though like because i think the thing about dancing is to have fun so it doesn't matter how you're dancing I if you want to dance dancing just dance well would be if you're dancing and other people are impressed by it i think that's what right. it is if other people who mm -hmm. know how to dance who've studied it for an example or just who are just fans of it mm -hmm. see you and they're like yeah that's good you like, know because i mean like i i can uh -huh. have fun but sure mm -hmm. hell ain't dancing you know <laughs> for example dancing tango yeah that happens in argentina and you can see people dancing tango really well, mm. right? And yeah. tango, ta tango is so difficult. All the steps and the coordination, and that's an amazing dance. Yeah. Whereas like, for I an love it. for an example, we could do that very mm. poorly, and we'd have and we'd have a lot of fun doing it. Exactly. But anybody yeah. who knows that I dance tango mm. will be throwing up. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but now. I will say if you compare all the countries in the world in Latin American countries, I think Latin American countries like to dance more than other countries, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, but that doesn't mean that everyone knows how to dance. 
yeah. in Latin American countries. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I include myself because I, I, do, I don't know how to dance too well. <laughs> okay, well, I see that Lena is saying, Lena Kirkland says, I seen your shows before. This is the first time I caught the live in real time. Well, that's great. That's great, Lena. Thank you so much for your comments. That's great. So remember, you can use the chat, the live chat, if you want to comment on what we're talking about. Tell me, like, do you know how to dance tango or any other kind of dancing professionally or just well right if they yeah. can if you guys can dance well just let us know that would be really interesting okay so that was the point number one the second point is that there is a myth about that all latinas grew up poor or or and in little towns i don't know if that's a uh The myth? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't. I don't think that's like an all Latina myth. I think that's more of, at least from like what I've seen. I think that's more of a Mexico myth. Mexico. Because even way. if you look at movies, every time they show Mexico in a movie, mm -hmm. it's like some tiny village with like tumbleweeds rolling through the streets, that's and it's true. like you know 2019. That's true. You know that's what I true. mean? Yeah. Like not. Then you know you never see like Mexico City. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. I mean, I I think you're right. I think you're right, and um, it's wrong. It's wrong because there are so many uh, like different cities in Mexico, big cities that are look amazing. They're big. They look like they're super, you know, high tech. Yeah, and beautiful new buildings like beautiful beautiful cities yeah mexico also has small towns yeah you know small towns medium-sized towns like mexico has a lot of everything mm -hmm. you know but yeah. it's not true not all latinas including mexico or mexicans not all latinas grew up poor or in little towns I'm from Mexico City. No matter what the soap operas tell you. Exactly. That's another thing. I think soap operas have helped to or, or to have that misconception, yeah. you know, about oh, Latinas are poor or like they don't know how to do mm -hmm. anything else but cleaning or, or, you know, something like that. Or they're always from little towns. Yeah. That's not true. As I was saying, I'm from Mexico City. And that's like a huge, huge city, beautiful. It's uh, it has a lot of everything, a lot of culture, and I I love that city for sure. Okay, so Lena again. Do you want to read that? What Lena's saying? I uh, can't dance, but the most important thing is to have fun. It absolutely exactly. is. Exactly, I agree. I agree, and I do the same. I don't know how to dance well, but I just have fun. If I feel like dancing, I dance, period. And you yeah. too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we both dance at the same time and we dance terribly, but <laughs> we have a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, so point number three is about Latinas are super religious. You know, that mm -hmm. all Latinas love religion, any religion, no, not any no. religion. I will say no. more. One specific one. Mostly cat <laughs> Catholicism, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they, uh, people might think that all Latinas uh, are Catholics and uh, nope. <laughs> It's true that Latin American countries usually are They very very Catholic. They're very Catholic, but not everyone in Latin America is Catholic. But you know, like I include myself. I'm not Catholic. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's that comes from the fact that Latin America is one of the most Catholic parts of the world. 
True. You true. know, so things that's, that's where that's And again, the novella about Bob yes. as well. Like, the main character is always, like, praying in yeah. a church, you know, and just Catholicism everywhere, yeah. you know? Even, oh, man. <laughs> um, King of the Hill, they had a... There was, mm -hmm. like, a... Because, you know, a cartoon, right? King of the Hill. Yep. And they had... There was a show that they would always watch... It was from Mexico. It was like, a, I don't know, it wasn't like a soap opera, but it's Monsignor Martinez. And yeah. it was like a Catholic priest who's also an assassin. Mm. That was the only, every time he kill somebody, he's like, vaya con Dios. Vaya con Dios. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, man, I love King of the Hill. Yeah, that's a good show. For sure. And well, let's got see. another person joining us. Yeah, Bruce McC McCormick. Hola. Hola, Bruce. How are you? ¿Cómo está? Bienvenido. And um, also, well, Lena is saying, hi, Bruce McCormick. How are you doing? I like that. I like that you guys interact with each other. <laughs> That's good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not everyone in Latin America is Catholic. There are so many different religions. Um there i don't know i don't know about religions too much but i know that there are a lot of different religions in latin america okay yeah any yeah. questions about that have you heard of of that before? yeah well again not specifically to like latinas in particular latinas. but in general mm -hmm. latin people that they're very very catholic very catholic yeah but no that's not true no even though, well, yeah, there are a lot of Catholics in Latin America countries, uh, not everyone. I can't tell you a percentage, right? But yeah, there are some, there, there are many Catholics for sure. Okay, now point number four. Uh, all Latinas want a ton of children or big families. <laughs> Have you heard of this? Um, kinda. From where? I'm just gonna I'm gonna attribute that one to soap operas as well. Again, yeah, I soap operas. So. Yeah, I think. And also, again, movies and stuff because when they show people in Mexico, it's always again like small a village, of, poor, a million kids. A lot of kids, yeah. So I think yeah, yeah it's just like a mm -hmm. bad stereotype. Yeah, well, this is not true you know because um in latin america all those countries yes there are big families yes some people like to have children a lot of children um they 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 have big families but i think that's more older families you know i remember um i remember families not specifically families, mm -hmm. but people talking about their families and they said, oh, we have eight brothers. Yeah. And I was and like, again, what? I th I can't, <laughs> again, I think that's a Catholic thing because mm -hmm. like they yes. always, yeah. they talk about having like, look at like Mel mm -hmm. Gibson has like 12 kids or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. Th there's a saying, an old saying in Mexico that says, um, I'm gonna say it in Spanish. Uh, it's it goes something like "Lo que Dios nos quiera dar," you know, o, or "Si si Dios quiere, pues vamos a tener varios hijos," you know. It's like letting everything to God. Mm -hmm. Just not leaving everything to to yeah. God. Like if. If they're going to have eight children, if yeah, God wants it, them yeah, to have, have eight, eight children, yeah, they're going to have eight kids, yeah. right? But that's like in the past, really old families. And also all around the world, I remember people used to have a lot of kids just yeah. because... Infant mortality exactly. was extremely high. Exactly. But nowadays, I know that... Latinas don't want too many kids. They don't want to have huge families. Um, once again, I'm not generalizing, but I know that there are women that they just want to do something else mm -hmm. older than have children. 
yeah. you know and that's fine that's yeah. fine that's fine that's yeah. good live your best life exactly um and once again that's also because there are a lot of no no non-catholic yeah. you know latinas as well so yeah. there is no They're influence from indep independent independent yeah exactly okay number five latinas talk a lot <laughs> they talk and talk and talk in super fast well I mean, Spanish speakers usually speak really fast. And you guys talk a lot. Do we? Yes. Well, that's true. That's you true. You guys I do say, talk a that lot. That myth might be might <laughs> There's, be true. There is some truth to it. Yes. But we're not talking all the time. I think it depends when you're... If you're talking with someone that you'd really like to talk... Mm -hmm with you know then you start talking a lot but i remember one thing that it's true is that when latino families get together they talk a lot and even when they're eating a meal you know yeah. they talk 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 and sometimes it's like you're talking and you're eating you're talking and you're eating and i remember that because when we were dating mm -hmm. you know do you remember that yeah We used to get together with my family and we were just talking and talking and talking <laughs> and not eating. And you were just eating and you yeah. finished and we were still <laughs> talking and eating. <laughs> yeah. So there's some there's some truth to that. Yeah. Because like in, with us, it was it, it's not with like me. It's not a cultural thing because I think Serbians also tend to. If you get together talk with family lot. and stuff, they do they do talk yeah, while they eat. But for us, I think just my family in particular, mm -hmm. we always eat first and then talk after. You know. Okay. Well, I gotta say this myth might be true, but it's not only Latinas. It's in oh. general everyone in Latin America. Lena saying her mom has ten siblings. Really? So wow. She's 62, so that puts her born in like the 70s. I don't know, my math's kind of crap. Well, that's 60s. fine. 60s. That's fine, but wow, but yeah. yeah. As I was saying, as we were saying, yeah, in the past, you know, like older families, they used yeah. to have a lot of kids. You know, and that's that's fine. But I think nowadays it's I, I think, think it's more difficult too. It, it is it's more Be expensive. Yeah, <laughs> I think that I think that's what it is. And it's, and yeah. now a lot of families have both of the, the you know the couple both work. You know, mm. so there's less stay-at-home parents. Yeah, there's exactly. less time, and yeah. people now I think too. It's coming to the point where you want to like do something else, live your life. <laughs> you know. Because you know that people always say like, oh, when you have kids, you're, you stop living your life and you start living theirs. You know what I mean? And a, a lot of yeah. people, I think, aren't up mm -hmm. ready for that. They, mm -hmm. they, there's still a lot you want to do because you normally yeah. don't have time to do it. Yeah. And you now know? with so many distractions like yes. TV and video games yeah. and the Every, internet. Y yeah. <laughs> you do other things. <laughs> But thank you for sharing, Lena. Yeah, that's yeah. super cool. That's, that's That's really interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, we might talk a lot. We might like to talk a lot, but I don't think it is more than it's not in a crazy way, you know? Yes, we talk. Uh yes, usually Latin American people are very warm, you know? Like they like to hug, they like to kiss, they like to be close yeah. to people. And yeah, also, we like to talk, but not all the time. I think it is when, you know, we get together, mm -hmm. and then we start talking, right? A lot. A lot. Endlessly. <laughs> well, that myth, my, <laughs> yes, I said that myth is kind of close to, to be true. Yeah. You know? Okay. So, let's see. The next one is... Latinas dress in a certain way. You know, 
uh, it's a very peculiar way it's um, with really tight clothes with like different fabric prints you know do you remember ugly Betty yes the sister oh, the sister yeah I, th I think there is some truth to that I, again, because look at me, I'm like all dressed but not, like that. Not, not saying you, but there is some <laughs> truth to that because a lot of, like again, from my experience with people from those communities in the past, mm -hmm. a, a lot of them. It depends on the occasion too, mm -hmm. but they do that. Those looks are definitely in their wardrobe. But not everyone. Not not, not ev everyone. Well, of course, yeah, not not, not everyone. everyone. And I gotta say, this myth is not true because in like I'm, again i'm latina i don't dress like that i don't i it just it's not for me mm -hmm. i don't like the big you know big earrings yeah i don't like the too excessive makeup or you know my hair all different like crazy or or mm -hmm. natural looking hair I don't like that. I'm not saying there's something wrong with that, but this stereotype is not true mm -hmm. to me. Like that is my opinion and it's not true. There's so many different styles. Yeah. It's it's one of those, th it's not 100% true, but there's definitely some truth in it. Uh, I still, I, I still agree to disagree. Sure. Because I, I think it's not true. What What do you guys think? Do you think that that uh, Latinas have, uh, you know, they dress in a certain way mostly, or do you disagree with this? Because I disagree. I disagree, and um, I think once again, telenovelas always portray <laughs> so they set a Latinas bad, bad in a peculiar way. What they said a bad example. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's just. Telenovelas are just fiction, you know, yeah. it's not real stuff. And um, yeah, I disagree with this. There are a lot of people that dress Latinas, dress differently. They dress it, like, I can't define the style because everyone's different and they all have. Yeah, I think it's, it's style. one of those things that your upbringing you know, like where you grew up, where you live now, all of that stuff kind of, yeah. you know, adds to your style and your identity. So it's not, you know, like, it's like saying, well, actually, <laughs> this is kind of true. But in, for an example, where we live in every, we're well, not in a small town, but there's mm -hmm. a small town nearby that I work in. Mm -hmm. And pretty much everybody in a small town, if it's a guy, you wear a baseball hat baseball hat you know like yeah just everybody really? it's just a thing people like <laughs> again not not everybody i'm exaggerating but a, the vast majority that's funny you wear a baseball hat that's you funny. know and i don't know if it's just like a farming community kind of thing you know because you're mm -hmm. out in the sun all day so you wear a hat and it just kind of becomes like a, mm -hmm. <laughs> a identifiable that's style funny. or something but that's yeah it's funny. i mean i didn't know that yeah yeah well that was point number six. We have 10 points, so we have four more points. Number seven is Latinas know how to cook Mexican food or, you know, their Latin American mm. country food. No, <laughs> that's know. absolutely not true. That's what do you mean? <laughs> like, I'm sure like not everybody knows, but there's definitely some who don't. Yeah. There are definitely some Do you who know don't. someone who, who doesn't? Mm, well, I don't know about now, but back like years and years and years ago, my ex girlfriend was Colombian and she could oh. not cook anything. Do you have a thing for Latinas? I, I think this is I don't I <laughs> I never thought about it, but maybe. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she couldn't cook worth a damn. Really? Did she try? Her mom cooking? could cooking like Colombian food. yeah I don't did she try cooking no. or something for you no but remember I went there for Christmas once mm -hmm. and yeah like she didn't do any of the cooking like her mom did everything mm. well yeah I mean it's not true not all Latinas know how to cook period you know 
Uh, eh, again, nothing wrong with but that. But there's so many that know how to cook yes. too. So it's a bunch of everything, you know. Yeah. Some people know how to cook. So it's like in in every in, single yeah. country. Like, it's just interest, you know. If you're yeah. if you're interested in doing that, you're gonna learn how to do it, how and do it, yeah. with practice, you do it well. Yeah. Now uh, I like cooking. You know, I like I like cooking and uh, baking. Not much because mm. baking is tough. <laughs> I know how to make a sandwich. Yeah. Well. That's. <laughs> That's about the extent of my cooking That's not repertoire. Good. I mean, I gotta say, men should know how to cook. Like, they, moms, please tell your kids, all of I, them, I tell I them, could. teach them how to yeah. cook. It's good for them. When you I know? had a toaster they oven, you can be independent. When I had my toaster oven, I could cook. <laughs> Cooked your sandwiches. <laughs> Anyway, I like cooking, but that's just because I like cooking. It doesn't have to do with me being Latina mm -hmm. or because I cook different kinds of food, you know, yeah. like I, I make sometimes some Asian style f foods like yeah. stir fry. I love stir fry. I love udon noodle soups. Like yeah. I love that. I also love sushi. You know, I also love some Italian food. Yeah, I like Italian food. You know, yeah. spaghetti, pasta, mac and cheese. All of that is it's it, good. Yeah. But I also know how to cook Mexican food. Like I know how to make enchiladas, mole, uh, molletes. We can talk about Mexican food in a different yeah. vi uh, podcast. I mean, in a different ep video. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, lo I know how to cook Mexican food, but I know Mexicans, Latinas and Mexicans that oh. don't know how to cook. <laughs> Lena's <laughs> asking if you know, if you have any Spanish recipes. Spanish recipes? Um, Nothing like from Spain? Well, there's like, like stuff that like Latin dishes, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't have videos about I don't recipes. I think you have anything written down. Yeah, I don't think so either. I I, I have everything here <laughs> in, in my in my mind. We'll, in my we'll make memory. we'll make a cookbook one day. Yeah, and also maybe we should live stream some uh, recipe. Yeah, yeah, it'd be fun. Some cooking. Yeah, that would be really fun. Thank you, Lena. Yeah, I don't have any recipes um, written down or a video about recipes, but yeah, I I could totally look into that. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Thank you, Lena. Okay, so yeah, not everyone knows how to cook in Latin American countries. Okay, um, I know how to cook, but just because I like it. <laughs> okay, so number eight is <laughs> Latinas and the word papi. <laughs> you know, that Latinas, when they date, they call men papi. The only time I've Bobby. ever heard that <laughs> is on TV. On TV, right? Yeah, so I don't think mm. there's any truth to that. Yeah, I, I don't think so e either. Like, I, I when I dated, you know, like when I dated you mm -hmm. and any other relationships I had, I never called my boyfriend Papi. I just find that it's, whole it thing very weird. Wrong. Yeah, the you whole. Know? Because papi, papi means daddy. Yeah. You know? And you don't. <laughs> it's weird. You know? It's like even when when couples call each other baby. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Baby. Like yeah. I just, I don't, to me, <laughs> somebody, somebody said a while ago, I remember seeing online that. Mm -hmm. Like. To them, as a parent, the word daddy is ruined, you know? Because <laughs> every time your kid calls you that, it's just going to sound uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let me tell you, papi, sometimes some women might say that. Some Latinas might say papi. But I got to say the majority, I don't think, say papi mm. ever ever they say other words like mi amor corazón mi amor means my love or corazón 
that means like heart. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird, but it's it. I think it's nicer than papi. Okay. Papi, no. Maybe some um, <coughs> some uh, American. I th- maybe Latino yeah. Community. That might be like a, it's like essay is kind of a American Latino yeah. thing. Might be, but I don't want to. S- uh, don't quote me on that because. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Papi. Usually, you see that. I don't know on movies. Yeah, it's the the only you, place you I've ever see, seen it. Yeah, is on or TV. Tel- on, not not even telenovelas. I don't think, or TV shows maybe. Yeah, but again, it's uh, like TV American shows? TV shows. Yeah, yeah, and once and again, movies. I think that's a very stereotype thing to do. Yeah, you know, no, no Papi, no, <laughs> no Papi. Sometimes some women might like that, but. No, usually no. Forget about puppy. Okay, number nine. We all like telenovelas or watch TV. Yeah, we were talking about telenovelas, right? Yeah. So it's it's also not true. Not true. There's, a, I will say, it, there is a big, 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 uh, I would say, a lot of, a lot of women who love telenovelas. I know that for sure. Mm-hmm. It's a big thing. Telenovelas, at least in Mexico, it's a big thing. So, Bob Press, big thing. Yeah. But uh, not, not everyone. Not for everybody. Not for everyone and or everybody. And I include myself. Like, I don't like telenovelas because, well, I, f- I find them funny lately. Mm-hmm. Like, it, the, the acting is over the top. The, dr- the, yeah, you, the you way they dress is over the top. It, you don't watch it to get invested into the story. Exactly. It's just more for like a good laugh. Exactly. But telenovelas, mm, no, I don't think it's uh, everyone in Latin America yeah. likes or everyone likes telenovelas. Yeah. What about though. you guys? What's what's your Do you favorite, like telenovelas? Or just what's your favorite TV show? Yeah. Let's see. I wonder. What somebody's watching that we might not have seen yet. Yeah, um, I've been watching Lucifer. <laughs> that was actually, it's really we good. Have. It's really good. I did not expect it would they would be entered like good at all. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be that's on Netflix. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be really bad. It, it sounds it sounds very. It sounds super cheesy. Not cheesy. To me, I it think did. it it sounds kind of scary because we're talking about El Diablo, <laughs> but it's a very good good TV show for sure. I'm watching that. What, sh- what shows do you watch in it's Spanish? It's a little dram- dramatic too. Yeah. Okay. Well, Selena's asking what shows do you watch in Spanish. In Spanish. Well, you watch like podcasts on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, like that. yeah. I listen to podcasts, Spanish podcasts. A lot. Um, let me remember. Uh, Alex Fernandez. Alex Fernandez. That's a podcaster. He's, he's a comedian, isn't he? He's a comedian and he's hilarious. So if you Google on YouTube, you know, if you Google on YouTube, no, if you search on YouTube, Alex Fernandez, it's not the singer, he's a comedian. So you will see uh, some of his videos. He's hilarious. And yeah, yeah, he's he's really, really funny. I, uh, what else? There is another podcast that I like to listen to just because these guys are funny. Mm -hmm. Uh, They speak Spanish and it's called Chicharron con Pelos. Mm -hmm. Chicharron con Pelos, those guys are Mexicans. Uh, also, Alex Fernandez mm. is Mexican, and they're really, really, really funny. They talk about very much. Um, Can you type it out? They're asking just so they know. Oh boy! Okay, I'm just gonna do that on the live chat. Okay. Okay. So, actually, here. Okay, all the way. Oh, let me get the keyboard. I think. Let me just Google that really quickly. Yeah. Okay, just bear with me, guys. 
I can copy and paste the link. Or rather, maybe they want the name, right? Yeah, probably. It's just you hard to just copy. type it in. It's like eight letters. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> F B Z. Okay, so that's the first one. You're gonna see it. And the other one, I'm just gonna. Oh my. Okay, that's the other one. And yeah, those guys are funny. Uh, that's what I, I listen to many things, but yeah, I remember I know those right now. You watch also, there's a guy that collects toys and stuff. Oh yeah, Matt Hunter. Yeah, that was pretty Matt Hunt. interesting. Yeah. If you're, okay, if one, you're into like vintage toys and things like that, that's kind of a cool one. Um, it's, it's a little long, the name. I think that's the name. Sorry if I have any bad spelling, but I think that that's it. Uh, so those three guys, uh, they, they're they all in Spanish, all those channels, and they're hilarious. And the last one uh, is about a guy who collects old toys, old toys, vintage toys. Yeah. yeah, and it's very good. Anyway, so yeah, uh, not every, not all Latinas like to to watch telenovelas or watch TV, okay? So Latinas usually like to do other things. <laughs> as well like going out well now i don't know well yeah now, <laughs> no, they, now they might no, all like yeah, watching now TV. they might watch tv a lot yeah <laughs> and telenovelas but yeah usually not all of them like telenovelas or watch tv and lastly lastly <laughs> this is a whole thing you know okay. i'm pretty sure you have heard the term macho mm -hmm. have you heard of this term yes i know macho, of macho man randy macho savage man randy. my hero <laughs> well, your hero my your childhood macho. hero macho man macho randy man. savage well uh macho the that cream term, of the crop the, cr <laughs> the cream of the crop yeah <laughs> <laughs> well macho that term do you do you know what it means um what does it mean to be a macho like manly Manly like stereotype, you know, like tough guy, you know, tough guy, tough guy, really, like yeah, like uh, oh, oh, like in charge, you know what I mean, like not taking anybody's crap, like that. Do you think machos are good people? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. No, I think there's good qualities, but often misused. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Um, just one sec, guys. Um, let me tell you that being a macho is not a good thing. Okay? Being a macho is not something that anybody should be pr proud mm -hmm. about uh, i think macho man randy savage he he's a wrestler so was. Yeah. he was a wrestler and i think the name was fine you know mm -hmm. like th it's okay like i don't think he was a macho maybe he wanted to look like a mm -hmm. macho somebody mainly and right mainly mm -hmm. and all of yeah. that but um I, I don't think it's something good, you know? I don't think it's something good. I think men should never be machos because um, it's, let me tell you what this is about. Macho is somebody who is sexist, mm -hmm. you know? And it's not good. Macho is mm -hmm. like, I'm stronger than you. You know, I mean, if you're a woman, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm stronger than you. I know better than you. Don't tell me what to do. 
and sometimes they are not nice people mm -hmm. in general. They're not not nice people. Have we seen Caso Cerrado? Someone's asking in the chat. Lena is asking. I don't know what that is. Have you both seen Caso Cerrado? Caso Cerrado is something that my mom watches a lot. <laughs> it's about it's like um this judy what's uh, her name in a famous judge on television judge judy yeah oh, yeah it's like that it's like so, a family court kind of thing yeah so essentially the, it's a tv show about uh problems among people you know like oh, I, see, i can I say hey like i'm gonna take you to court because you know this mm -hmm. or that um and caso cerrado the woman the judge i don't, I don't know mm -hmm. if she's a judge she is like settling things down uh, you know but okay, but it's okay. again it's a soap opera everything is you know acting mm -hmm. or it, everything they don't even have real people they have actors in that show i don't watch it i've heard of it but yeah it's it's not real It's not a good show to watch, as well, unless you like dramatic situations, right? <laughs> but no. <laughs> yeah, but I've heard of the show, Lena. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Anyways, as I was saying, machos in Mexico are not a good thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like you should never be a macho. If you're, you're about to date someone, you know, and a Latina, and you tell this Latina, I'm a macho man. Mm-hmm. The Latina is gonna be like, yeah, I don't want to date you. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. I don't want to be. I don't, don't want to be your girlfriend. Uh. So it's bad. In in essentially, machos are people who are sexist. Uh, okay. You know, and I I honestly I think that's I I know that they are like that, mm -hmm. and a lot of Latinas don't like macho men. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. I will say 99% of Latinas don't like macho men. But they would love macho man Randy Savage. Though. Yeah, probably, probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but so Lena says yeah. she learns vocabulary from watching the show. That's well, cool. that's good. That's good. If yeah. you're learning that's Spanish it, from the show, that's I think how that's how I learned fine. English. Really? Yeah, I What learned English learn? from watching movies because I was... I couldn't read fast enough to keep up with the subtitles, mm -hmm. so I just ended up picking up on a language. Wow! So I learned English that's, by that's watching um, like Schwarzenegger, Stallone, and Chuck Norris. Wow! You know? That's crazy. Yes. Um, so yeah, Latinas do not love macho men. That is a myth and is wrong. Okay. So out of the ten myths that we talked about. Mm -hmm. I think the only one that is kind of true is the the one about talking a lot. Yeah. 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 Right. So. Yeah. So the other myths are just myths, and it they're not true. They're not true. We sometimes like to talk a lot. Sometimes we don't feel like talking. It's it's like anybody else, mm -hmm. but we might talk a little more than other people <laughs> <laughs> latinas specifically um um yeah latinas mm. yeah we we might talk a lot yeah yeah but that said guys what do you think, yeah. what well, do lena, you think? lena said she uses uh subtitles that puts on captions and learns vocabulary for the show that's really cool yeah that's that's nice yeah. that's nice Yeah, um, that's cl a clever way of doing it. Mm -hmm. I also learned some English in that way. Like, I remember mm -hmm. always uh, having subtitles, and even sometimes I do all the time. Yeah. I just have um, English subtitles, even when I'm watching an English TV show mm -hmm. or a TV show in English. And that helps a lot. So if you, Lena, if you can, I think she's al already doing that. That she's yeah. listening yeah, Spanish, watching something in to Spanish, the and then yeah. yeah, and reading subtitles. So that's that's a great combo for sure. Thank you, Lena, for your uh, participation. That was that was nice to yeah, it's nice to hear to from s you. to see to see what you do and what you think about. Uh, what we're talking about and do you have any questions have you heard of any other myth 
Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? Nothing oh specific boy. to Latinas. Anthony Grant. Anthony Grant is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Very he late. Is, he's a great crossword puzzle player. Like he, yeah. when when I started doing the crossword puzzles. By the way, we're gonna have a crossword puzzle tomorrow's Thursday, right? Yeah. T tomorrow. I believe so. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna have a crossword puzzle. And uh, yes, I was saying Anthony Grant was one of the first ones to play mm -hmm. and also to win uh, when playing, when doing a, a crossword yeah. puzzle. Uh, yeah, he he's very fast guessing, yeah. uh, you know, words in Spanish for sure. Lena's Welcome, at, Anthony. Yeah. It's fine if you're late. Don't yeah. don't worry about it. <laughs> Lena's asking, what songs can you play on the guitar? Oh, the guitar back back here. <laughs> I play... Hmm, Quite a few. I Yeah, I, I know how to read tabs. And I usually... I don't memorize the songs. But I look at the tabs and I play just by looking yeah. at the tabs. See, that's for me, It's I think it's the same way I learned English. I can't look at the tabs and play, so I just memorize it. Mm. Well, I know how to play uh, some songs, but I don't remember them. I have to look at the tabs. <laughs> <You know? laughs> tabs is like, what would you say? It's like the notes. It's kind of a specific to the guitar. Yeah, exactly. So I, I know how to play some Kiss songs. Uh, I know how to play if I'm telling you the you know the bands the rock bands because I like rock and roll you know I like rock mm -hmm. um, but I I've, I've played some kiss songs I've played some um, what was the other one I don't remember Twisted Sister The Strokes The, the strokes. strokes Twisted Sister mm, Yeah uh, Learning some, some Black Sabbath Black Sabbath um, um, Metallica um, some, Can you play something now? No, I'm not gonna play something <laughs> now Because I have to look at the tabs <laughs> I need to load the tabs And then tune my guitar It's a whole process, you know Maybe I'll what i'll record a video yeah you, you know a couple of spanish songs yeah you could i'll do one i'll make a video of me playing guitar if you're interested in that i could do that i know how to play a few songs in spanish like so the stereo songs that's a great band was because um Sadly, the the yeah. singer died, and he was also the lead guitar. Uh, Gustavo Cerati, that was his name. He was an amazing musician. So the stereo, Café Tacuba, a little bit of Julieta Venegas. Um, what's the other one? Natalia Lafourcade. Yeah, so a bunch of different things. I uh, yeah, I have many years playing the guitar. But I have my memory when it comes to remembering tabs and notes because I also sing along. So I don't remember the songs by memory because I have to learn. I have to memorize the lyrics and <laughs> I don't know. And for <laughs> some reason, tabs, I just don't have the memory for that. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. But yeah, I could I could do I could. Yeah play a song for you if you're interested in that uh what else do we have more comments or are we done uh, okay anthony says yeah i work all the time yeah, now so, so i probably be. won't make it to the crossword crosswords that's anymore bad. that's sad well if you can any day please <laughs> join us that would be great um maybe i'll do some over the weekend some crossword over the weekend i don't know yet 
but yeah you guys can suggest the days and times for that and and I, I I can see I'll see what I can do okay so pizza lover says hi I love reggaeton or re reggaeton so I want learn Spanish so bad well that's interesting that's a, a I'm not a fan of reggaeton, but I think it's an interesting music genre. Do you like reggaeton? No, but I love pizza. <laughs> so, so the <laughs> pizza lover, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I think you, we just became best friends. <laughs> there, there you go. Uh, but you gotta listen to some reggaeton, right? But yeah, reggaeton is an interesting uh, music genre for sure. Uh, I don't mind listening to one or two songs, reggaeton songs. But yeah, that's interesting that you're learning Spanish because you love reggaeton. Awesome. Thank you for sharing, Pizza Lover. Uh, Anthony, Anthony Grant says, Lena, what do you mean oh, Caso Cerrado? Yeah, it's a show, show or a movie. Yeah. Uh, as I was saying, Anthony, it, Caso Cerrado is a TV... I think it's a TV show, but you can find it on YouTube. It's a very dramatic TV show about a judge and actors because it's not real. It's not real. All the cases are not real. Uh, they're, I don't know, they're just actors pretending to have a problem. Is it like Jerry Springer? Did they ever fight? Yeah, almost. Also, it's like Judge yeah. Judy mixed with Jerry Springer. Yeah, exactly. That's Caso Cerrado. Yeah. It's a funny thing to watch, for sure. It's funny. And Lina was saying that she's learning Spanish from that show. So, yeah, that's that's quite interesting. Now, um... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What else? Okay, so Lina says, yes, I'm interested. So, she wants me to play a song. Yeah, I think you should. Okay, I, I will. I will. I will. So stay tuned, Lena. <laughs> um, hmm. Anthony Grant says, uh, LOL and blind. I see your comments. So your comment yeah, now. Yeah. Okay. Lena says, I enjoy both pi music and pizza. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Those two things are great. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's it for today. You didn't have any questions, right? No, no. Do you guys have any questions about any myths about Latinas? About, you know, how they are, what they like, nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just drink some water and see if something happens. Okay, that's it for today. Yeah, let's wrap so. this up. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, for participating, for being here, for tuning in. Thank you so much for everything. You're awesome. Yeah. And please remember to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also. You can visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And if you want to support this channel, you can check out the memberships on this channel. There are three different ones, Cafecito membership, Cerveza membership, and Tequila membership. You're essentially, uh, I don't know, you're essentially buying me a drink. And also you will have different perks when getting a membership. Uh, every membership has a, a monthly fee, so once a month there's a fee, it's not too high, and there are different memberships as I said, and please uh, just take a look at them, that would be great. Um, tomorrow we will have a crossword puzzle, so stay tuned for just, um, I'm gonna just create the live stream event and you will see it. If you click on the bell icon, you will get notified about that. And have a great night. Give this video a like, that helps me a lot. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Lena, Anthony, and Pizza Lover. Right? <laughs> that, that was yeah. the. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And everyone else, who who am I missing? Huh? Everybody who was here. Thank you so much. Bruce McCormick. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, everybody. Hasta luego. Have a great night. Thank you for watching. <laughs>